No long intros. We're going to make a mob farm like you have never seen before here in this beautiful Minecraft world. And there's going to be a schematic available. I'll tell you towards the end how you get hold of it. Let's go. Step one, find a really high spot in your world. This is absolutely perfect. And you're going to place down four fence posts, kind of around that highest spot, the one there and one kind of down over here. That's great. I'm gonna stick a lantern on top of each of these. All this is gonna do is gonna light up the bottom of your scaffolding that you're about to put down and just make it a little bit safer when you come up and down. You are then gonna place 128 scaffolding until you go all the way to the top. Just as an aside, I've generated an absolutely gorgeous starting seed here, completely by accident. It's up on the screen right now and down in the description, just in case you wanna play it. Step two, gather all your belongings and get yourself right to the top of your scaffold. And 128 scaffold is quite high, so this could take a few minutes. When you get to the top, you wanna to build yourself a seven by seven square. Now this is sometimes a little bit tricky. This is the bottom corner of your square, so you've gotta come across and place your block there. So that's two, and then I can go three, four, five, six and seven and then make that into a complete square and this is where you need these extra scaffolds because you need to go down your scaffolding just a little bit about here should be enough three or four and then go one two and that's going to place scaffolding along round about your head height you can then walk out along that scaffolding and reach if you come out this way reach most if not all of the underside of your area here and what you want to do is you want to be able to place not on the absolute edges but on the inner from one edge there a five by five square and fill that in so it looks like that back on top of your platform you're going to come into kind of the five by five inner square just here and without falling off come to the center of one of the edges one in and pop a chest right there and then to one side it doesn't matter which side pop another chest you are then going to ring around the rest of that five by five with more of this bamboo then get one of your hoppers and shift click it into the back of that chest shift click another one into the back of that chest and then shift click other hoppers so as you fill out this gap all into each other and it all flows into the chest so it doesn't matter what you push in doesn't matter which hopper it goes into it comes out in your chest then grab your nine carpet and shift click that on top of the hoppers you're then going to put an upside down step along each edge but don't put any in the corners because you want to leave those open and then onto each of those step put yourself a trap door and flap it up now I recommend making those trap doors too high, just simply because you can jump over a single set of trap doors and plunge to your death. But you don't have to if you've only got so much bamboo. But if you do choose to do that, don't flap the second trap door up so you get that overhang effect. Then place down a temporary block on one of the edges, not in the corner, and jump up. We're gonna then place down a glass on top of that and a glass either side and you're going to repeat that process on all four sides so it looks like that and then you're going to place a trapdoor on the underside of each of those glass and you're going to put a fence post on all of these four corners with a lantern on top of each of those fence posts this next bit is temporary just to give you a way to get down from the top without dying if you've got elytra or something like this you don't need it but you are going to remove it so it doesn't make the build look ugly what i've done using a temporary block i'm just using wall i've come out one two three four five six seven eight blocks and on the ninth block i've made myself a five by five square and it's also got a base in it this is just to make a pool of water i'm going to place water there i'm going to place a water there and i'm also going to place a water there that gives me water all the way around and no matter what height i fall from i'm always going to not get any damage now grab one more temporary block and jump up on top of your trap doors here and place that temporary block against the side so you can jump up onto it and then up onto your glass you can get rid of that temporary block now we are then going to go up another 22 blocks which means it is 24 blocks above the carpet in the middle now you need to use whatever block you've decided to make your outer structure of to do the first three or four layers here because they're going to be visible after that your block choice absolutely doesn't matter you could use cobblestone or some other cheaper block because you're never going to see it but the first four layers make sure you're using the block palette that you want to be using for the rest of your structure for the purpose of this tutorial i'm going to be using cyan concrete for the entirety of it 
whilst we build it up and then we can play around with that a little bit later on to see what different patterns look like. So I've gone up four blocks with cyan concrete and another 17 just using cheap cobble. Now we need to get back down. We're gonna come back up in a bit but we have gotta build out the structure. So place the water bucket down there, jump in, collect it in your now empty bucket and just float down with the water. If your bubbles get low, just pop your head out the side and you won't drown, but you shouldn't fall to your death, which you would have done if you'd have just lobbed yourself off. We need to get up to the fourth level above the glass, that top cutted level. So I'm just gonna place myself up some scaffolding and I'm gonna to climb to the top of it. However, I'm not gonna place a block on the top level. I'm gonna place it on the central level there and then across all the way here. I then can get myself up on top of that and I can start building. I'm going to repeat that on all four sides and I'm going to add a block in every corner which means I can move all the way around it and I'm going to increase the height of this by three blocks all the way around and once I've done that I'm going to come out I'm going to place a block in the middle two down and then another row of three across on all the directions and I'm going to add in more corners as well so in the middle those three there come across add there and there and repeat again down in the middle those three there and so on we're then going to place a lantern or a torch it doesn't really matter or any other light block for that matter right in the center along this area here and then we're going to raise this up another one level all the way around we can then come out in the center with one block and then raise up one come along here come out in the center by one block again and do that on all four sides. So we should have something that looks like this, but it's starting to turn into a diamond shape and we don't want it a diamond shape, we want it a circular shape. So we need to change it up a little bit. And that's quite simple. What we're gonna do is we're gonna place a block there and a block there. So this row is five along. We're gonna add a block there, a block there, a block there and essentially just add a block all the way around that makes this a slightly more circular looking shape like that. And at this point you want to place a torch onto the wall all the way around on each side because what's happened we've lit up this bit but we've not lit up that bit and that's going to spawn mobs which is going to take away from your farm and all we need to do now is increase the diameter of our circle a couple of times this jutty out bit and the opposite jutty out bit are 11 blocks across so to make a circle that's 11 blocks we're going to jump up on that we're going to come out two this is just going to go in and out in and out in and out and then we're going to carry on coming across here so it's five across so it's literally a zigzag with the size being five one two three four five but we're also going to pop another block right there with this block giving us an opportunity to make our circle 13 wide so again we're going to come out five but then here we're going to go one two and then we're going to add a third block in there on this side we're going to come out five there and add a third block on the side. And then what we do, just pop one right on there. We're gonna do that all the way around. Our circle is now 13 wide and we're starting to get that curve where the balloon is going outwards. Sticking another block over the center and we're gonna come up one and come out again two, come in one, go out another two, come in one, go out, go in, go out, come across one and two. And that gives us the opportunity to put the central block there and up one and two so your quarter segment looks a little bit like that and we'll do that all the way around and now our balloon is 15 wide we need to jump up two gaps on either side so we're not going to 17 wide we're going straight to 19 wide which means just to be safe we're going to stick ourselves some more light right on the inside of each of these sides here we're then going to come to our edge we're going to come up one there we're going to jump up on and then we're gonna come out another one. So we've got two coming out on that side. That's gonna form the edge of our 19 wide circle. And this is the pattern you're gonna follow. From this central one, you're gonna go out one, two, and three. Then you're gonna come in one, and then out another two. Then you're gonna come in one, and then out one, in one, out one, in one again, out one again, and then across one and two. Then you're gonna come out one, and that should join you up to the next center. You then wanna just fill in all these blanks. And this is the bit where I wish we had terracotta slabs because that just looks quite harsh. But fortunately, when we get the rest of the balloon in, it won't look so bad. Come to the central point again, come out one block, raise it up one block, and we're gonna make a 21 wide circle all the way around. And this is just as easy. So we're gonna come out three from our center, and then we're gonna come out three again on the next one. So in one and then two more out. And then we're gonna do one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, and then we're going to come across two more, out one, and then one, two, and we're right at the center again, so one on the bottom and one up, and do that on all four corners. We're then going to repeat the process again, going one bigger as a 23 wide circle, so that's one coming out, one on top, we're going to go one, two, three, we're going to come in, two, three, in again, two, and then three, and then we're going to come in, one, two, one, two, that will come across as three there, that will come across as three there, we're going to come out one, that's going to go up one in the middle and join it up. We have now got that quartile done again. Do that all four sides and then make it too high. And the underside of our balloon shape is really coming through now. Then do a 25 wide circle in exactly the same way. So from your center block, come out one, two, three, in one, out another two, in one, out another two, in one, out one, in one, out one, in one, out one and then across another two and then out one across another two then out one across to your center repeated all the way around too high again and we are only one block away from our maximum diameter 27 blocks this time come to your center come out one and then place one on either side of it and come up one level. So from your central spot right here you're going to come out one which we've already placed two and three in one and then out another one two and three so that's a total of four then in one out one in one out two more and then in one out one and then come in at two more and then out one in one out one in three more and then out one and then you can join it up to the other side and then do this entire row one more block high so we've got the bottom half of our balloon shape right there. And all we need to do is put a half sphere shape on top now. Before we do, we're just gonna put a lantern on each inside edge here to make sure that the entirety of the inside of this balloon shape is lit up. We don't want any mobs spawning inside here. We want them all spawning inside our farm. And because we're changing direction, I'm just gonna change the color of the concrete purely to make it easy for you to see. These colors can be changed to anything you want at any point. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make a two high wall exactly on top of where we've just placed that last row and what that does is put us exactly at the height of our cobblestone construction so I'm going to come across right in the middle and build across to the middle of the top of our construction because now we're going to be increasing our height and decreasing the farm at the same time so it should look a little bit like that now. And what you're going to do is you're going to make these too wide, but they're going to be slightly asymmetrical. If I go all the way to the edge, you can see I've only done it on two of the three. And then I'm going to come around and do it on the same two on all the other sides. So they're kind of like offset propellers, just like that. And then you're going to place oak trap doors along the inside of this hole. Now it doesn't matter how you orient the oak trap doors. I do like to have three going in one direction and one in the middle like that so they all flat down symmetrically, but that's just me, you do it how you want. So now, as we increase the height, we're gonna increase the height of the farmy bit inside as well as the balloony bit outside. Starting with the balloony bit outside, we're gonna to come to our middle block, going out two, then we're gonna come there for one, two and three then we're going to come diagonally for one and two then we're going to go one one and one and then we're going to go one and two then one two and three miss that block and then go one two and three so that's one quarter we're going to do that all the way around and then what we're going to do is we're going to come up to one side with this cobblestone and we're going to run all the way along until we get to the center and we're going to do that on both sides of this channel and on all four sides so you should end up with something that looks a little bit like this now what you're going to have here are a couple of shelves on the inside you're going to want to put a torch or a lantern on each one of these that's going to give enough light inside to stop spawning which is what we don't want but not overdo it with the lanterns because they're expensive right next level come to the center of one of your sides which is going to be on the inside edge of the innermost cobble there that's going to come up one then come out one leave that gap and pop that there and then place the block on the inside and then do another one and another one so that should be one two three four blocks long you then go one two one 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 two 
one, two, three. And this time it's gonna be on top of that cobblestone, one block there and one block there, which is back to the center. You're gonna do that again on all four. And we're also gonna raise these up one more level as well. Before you do your next level, you're gonna to wanna to block off the ends of your cobble channels, all four of them with one solid block there, 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 and there on all four sides. Because we are coming across this level, place one right in the center, which is the center of our farm there, and we're gonna come across one, two, three, and four. We're then gonna place a block there, jump in that gap, and a block on the inside. We're gonna place a block there, and a block on the inside. We're then gonna place a block in the middle, we come a block there and a block on the inside, a block there, a block on the inside. Then we're gonna go one, two, three, four, and we're back in the middle with five. Again, all the way around. So your inner cobblestone is now one level below. You need to come to the center and counting the trap door as one, so one, count in eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And on the ninth block, place two blocks like that and do that on all sides now what you should find is something that looks a little bit like that a little four by four square at the end of each channel what you're going to do is you're going to place a water bucket in that corner and a water bucket in that corner that gives you an infinite water source that you can use all the way around that way you only need to bring two water buckets up place a water bucket there and a water bucket there that flows water all the way to and over the trap doors. And do that in all four channels. And at this point, you wanna place in your trap doors. Leave them flapped up, not down like that, or just save you jumping around. You wanna put eight along one side and then come along to the other side and it will be seven because one of them is gonna overlap slightly. Do that on all four. And at this point, you can fill in the gaps in the middle. Now you could use slabs for this. I'm just using cobblestone blocks because I happen to have those in my inventory. And what you do wanna do is once you come to these little four by fours, just cover them over that's extra spawning space do that all the way around and completely fill in the gaps and it should look like that we're already one block off the spawning platform so we're going to come up one more block for now we've got the center of our platform up we come one and then one two and three jump a gap place a block there come in and place another block the other side of it another block there temporary block there and there and then come this side and there as well. Get rid of your temporary block. We're going to place a block there. We're going to go one, two, and then three, and then up there, one, two, and three. And we're back in that center. Repeat that on all four segments. Now, before you place your last block in this wall, you need to come inside and unflap all of these trap doors so they're completely open. They're not going to work particularly well if they stay closed. Once they are all open, come back to that single block that you've not placed in yet and put it in. And then jump up again and place one more. Place a block to that side. And now you're two blocks out here. Place a block there and two blocks over the top like that. And then come in one. Then you're gonna place a temporary block there and place a block on that. You're gonna put a block there and come inside. You're gonna place a block there and come inside that direction. You're gonna place a temporary block there and put a block there, get rid of your temporary block, and then go one, two, and then come inside three and four, and then next to that you're gonna go one, that is your new central block. And you just carry that on all the way around until you finish this entire section. And now your balloon is really starting to take shape. You've got a too high gap up inside here, so we can start putting the roof on because we don't want it to be any higher than too high or we'll get endermen spawning in it and that's the last thing we want. So make sure you've not placed any torches anywhere inside and you are gonna completely cover it over with whatever block it is you want. I'm just gonna carry on using cobblestone. Remember, none of this is ever gonna get seen, so it doesn't matter what blocks you use. As you can see, it is beautifully dark inside. And because your cobblestone or whatever block you've used circle is 23 blocks wide, that means if you come to the first one and you count in 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, place a lantern on that, should be directly central. That is gonna be good enough to light up the entire platform and stop mob spawns, which is gonna allow us to build up the entirety of the top of our balloon without any distractions of lighting stuff up. Starting from the center again, you're gonna come out one, two, three blocks. You're gonna come in one, two blocks. You're gonna come in another one, two blocks, then one, then you come in one, two, one, two, one, two, three, 
and your central block all around all four quadrants. You could find some growling has already started inside your mob farm because if you're at one side there is enough space across the other side for things to start to spawn. You're going to place a block right there, you can hear the growling and that is going to come all the way across to this side right there. So you should find that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks across. Please ignore my growling friends. They don't mean you any harm. Then we're gonna come in one, two. Then we're gonna come in a temporary block there. One there, one there. You can get rid of that temporary block. We're gonna place one and two, one and two. And we're gonna keep coming all the way across until we hit that other block. And we're gonna carry on doing that all the way around. And make sure you get yourself up onto your wall before you place that last block, because two blocks is too big a jump. Next level, using your lantern as your guide, because that is directly in the middle, jump up one block and then come one to the side. You then wanna put a temporary block there, bring the block in one, get rid of your temporary block and come across two. You're then gonna come and grab yourself another temporary block there, pop a block there and come in. You're then gonna do kind of like a zigzag. So there and there, there and there, there. And then you're gonna do a temporary block there and then go one, two and three. And then you're gonna come in one and two and that should be absolutely central to your farm again. Again, that is one quadrant do the other three. Next level, place a temporary block right on the side here. So it's kind of on this edge. You're gonna place a block there and get rid of it. And you're gonna go all the way across a total of nine blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you should finish just over that gap there, nine. You're then gonna place three blocks over this gap here. You're then gonna place a block on the inside edge and one block next to it covering over that gap. And then a temporary block Next to that temporary block, place a single block, get rid of it. Place a temporary block next to that single block again, go one and two, get rid of your temporary block, place another block right there and come across two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, should have one block, nine, and then again, fill in those three. Keep that pattern going all the way around. Let me just show you again. So one, two, temporary block, block, get rid of temporary, new temporary, block, block, get rid of temporary, block there, another eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight over the gap, and then one, two, three. We're now really starting to accelerate our entry. So we're gonna pop one block there, that's temporary. We're gonna place a block next to it, get rid of the temporary block. Then we're gonna come across another six. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. It should just cover up the gap, but none of the actual blocks. We're gonna come two blocks in, place a block there, a block there, another block there, and then a final block just to cover up that hole right there. We're gonna come two blocks in again, one block there, one block there, and one block there. And then we're gonna come in two blocks again, one block there, and one block there. So we've not actually put any blocks on top of any other blocks at the moment. We're then coming in next to this, a block right there, and a block there. And then we're coming in one block there, one block there, and then we come across another five blocks. One, two, three, four, and five, and then we keep repeating the button where we come in two blocks, come across two, two blocks, come across one, and then we come in that block there and that block there, this block right there, that block there, that block there, this second block, and then come across again. Our hole in the middle should now be just 13 blocks across. And the next level almost closes us up. Temporary block right in the middle, place a block next to it, get rid of your temporary block, place a block on either side. So you've got a row of three, again, just over that gap. Come inside that, place another front row of three just there and stick two off on either side, just there and there, just like that. You're then gonna come in again one more row and you're gonna fill this all the way across. Don't go on top of the block, just go to the side of the block right there and then complete that on all four sides. This should give you a square shape, but we don't want a square shape. So in each corner, place one in the corner there, one next to it, and then one next to it again. So three blocks to kind of round off that corner on each of those. And then the last level is easy. Place a temporary block anywhere you want, that will do. Place a block next to it over the gap, get rid of your temporary block, and just use that to completely cover up your hole.
And what do you know? Your balloon is done. And its shape is absolutely perfect. It does look a little bit dull though. So this is the point at which you have some choices. At this point, you can get down off your balloon by coming to the edge of the balloon that's got the water drop that we made a little bit earlier. There's mine, I can just literally drop into that. No damage done and I've already got mobs coming in. Because at this point, you do have a functional mob farm and you can start to bash your mobs and get your XP plus any of the drops that they might like to give you in here. If you've got a mob in the far corner from where you're standing, it won't walk over, just crouch. It will see you and it will come across. Just make sure you stop crouching because the creepers will explode if they can see you and the skeletons will shoot arrows at you. I've been using it for just a couple of minutes. I was lucky enough to get a chicken jockey, which is why I've got feathers and a raw chicken and a witch, which is why I've got a potion of healing and some redstone dust. But a couple of minutes already gets you quite a decent amount of loot. But for me, this balloon isn't nearly finished enough. Blimey, this thing fills up quite quick, doesn't it? Let's give it a batter. Because we're so high above the ground, the only place that mobs can spawn is inside the farm. So the spawn rate's pretty good. So you get a lot of mobs, so you get a lot of loot, and you get a lot of XP. So I'm gonna fancy up this balloon with nothing more than a few trapdoors, some walls, some fences, and maybe, just maybe, a little bit of glowstone. And the trapdoor you use and the walls you use will depend on what color palette you've got for your balloon. And you can obviously change up your color palette as much as you want. I'm gonna use some copper trapdoors to start off with. I'm not gonna start at the very bottom. I'm gonna come up a few levels to about here. The first level that I've got a single block. And I'm gonna flap up my copper trapdoor and I'm gonna go all the way to the top. And that's already starting to bring some nice detail in. And at this point, you can really start to go to town with whatever detail in it is you fancy putting on it. I'm gonna place some fences so it looks like rigging around my balloon. And I'm putting some more rigging a little bit higher up. That's a polished tough wall, two fence posts, and then coming in, I'm coming across and then down, across and then down, then across two, then down, across two, down again, across two, and then down and attach into another wall at the bottom there and stick in a, another fence post at the bottom. I think under these here, we're gonna stick ourselves a lantern. So I'm gonna place that there. And with some oak trap doors, I'm gonna place one there, one there, one there, one there, and one on the underneath. So we get the glow, but it's nicely enclosed. And to avoid mob spawning on the top of the balloon, which is always possible, I'm gonna place a lantern right there. I'm gonna come across one right there, one across right there, and one across right there. That's gonna stop any spawning up and over the top, and that's enough light to stop any spawning down below. There is, however, just one spot that can just about be spawned upon, so I'm gonna pop a lantern there, and similarly on all the similar corners around the other side. And for some extra detail, I put some lanterns on chains, on fence posts, on walls, some oxidized copper trap doors just to add a little bit more depth and a few more fence posts around just to change the shape ever so slightly. And in that spot underneath where I was bothered it was a little bit too flat, I've placed some more oxidized trap doors that's gonna help to shape that out. I'd have used a different color trap door if I had different color concrete. All that's left to do is to remove your drop box. So fill up these blocks with something, doesn't matter what, that will get rid of the water and then just get rid of this completely because it is a bit of a blight on your build, isn't it? And we have here one completed balloon. Remember, you can change up the color palette to whatever you would like it to be. Blues, greens, yellows, purples, whatever suits your style and your build and change the pattern. It doesn't have to be a color at the top and the bottom. Could be all one color, could be stripes. It's entirely up to you. The fact it's got a mob farm inside just increases the utility. Maybe use multiple balloons with different color schemes to brighten up your sky. Make sure you only put mob farm in one though, otherwise you'll end up with mobs in more than one and your yield will decrease. I'm gonna offer schematic of this particular balloon and I'm gonna add it to the list of schematic that I give for download every single month to my Redstone patrons and above as part of my Avornia world download. I might even use a few of these balloons in Avornia. They look really good. They look fantastic floating around the world. It's efficient and it looks fantastic. I'm really, really pleased with the way this has come out. Maybe drop me an image of your version into my Discord. I'd love to see what it is you've made. If you've enjoyed this farm tutorial, then maybe consider giving it a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. There's loads of other tutorials tutorials plus other stuff that you might just enjoy. It'd be great to hear your comments too so don't forget to let me know what you thought and I'll really really look forward to seeing you in another video. 
You take it easy now. Bye.